A minute's applause here at Portman Road, Ipswich Town in all blue, Lincoln City in all yellow. The uh, players, staff and supporters of these two clubs showing solidarity with the people of Ukraine. He loses the ball, the former Tottenham player. Here's Selina with a couple of step-overs, tormenting Ioma, wide left outside the Lincoln area. Still again, Selina, I think he's on step-over number seven in the end. He loses <laughs> yeah. the ball, it's dragged away by Maguire. Eventually, Backinson zips the ball forward. A good ball from Backinson to Aluko in the number 10 position, out to the right-hand side. Good start from Town. Burns, edge of the area, overlapping is Danassian. Danassian by the byline, pulls the ball back to Burns, who left with it. Lifts it over from 12 yards, but what a bright opening minute from Ipswich. Poole drops a shoulder, tries to get away from Aluko. Tips the ball forward, Wolfenden's there to nod it into midfield. Chested down by Whitaker of Lincoln. Backinson's held up. On to him, little back heel from Whitaker. only went to Morsey, Morsey runs the ball to Selina, Selina stretches, tries to get away from Ioma, and does, this could be threatening now, Jackson, rips switch town inside the Lincoln box, left footed, pulls the ball back, towards Burns, and he finishes into the corner of the net for his 11th goal of a quite remarkable season. He's now only behind McCauley Bond. Ipswich Town lead Lincoln 1-0, and it's that man Burns again. Yeah, it's a fantastic strike, beautiful goal. You know, when, when the ball got pulled back there you, and you saw who it was going to, you just thought he's going to just get this out of his laces and it's going to go in the back of the net. So, chance came, took it brilliantly. Great run by Caden Jackson. Terrific ball that got him through, you know, and it was a terrific break, to be quite honest. Got that uh, opening goal, and uh, sometimes it's it's actually confidence that just drains away from you and, and your ability starts to let you down, self down. Burns to Selina, back to Burns, lovely one-two. Burns has got the better of Whitaker inside the area. Burns, lovely pull back, Morsey misses, and it's eventually tapped in by Caden Jackson for 2-0. Morsey should have scored. He's got a huge smile on his face saying it was a pass. It never was. But it dropped lovely at the feet of Jackson, who couldn't miss from two yards. And it's 2-0 Ipswich. Yeah, and he also got lucky because a, a, a Lincoln player actually stumbled when he was trying to sort of make a challenge for the ball. And it took him to the ground and actually played... Caden Jackson on side. Trying to score a third goal before half time, and it comes to the Lincoln area. They might get one as well, hasn't been cleared just yet. Shot from Morsey, blocked off, comes back to Morsey, blocked off again, appeals for a penalty, not given. Keeper's ball, and right at the end, he's just whacked it out of play on the far side. Good atmosphere, as you can hear, at Portman Road. We'd love to see a third goal from Ipswich. Aluko steps over the ball, Jackson gives it back to Aluko, might come now. Aluko inside the area! Oh, everything but the finish. Jackson with a little touchdown to Chaplin. Chaplin dinks away from Sorensen. Thompson down the line to Selina. Selina plays it against Ioma. Infield to Carroll. Carroll into the centre of the Lincoln half. And Backinson, he runs onto it, tries to pick his spot. Saved by the goalkeeper off to his uh, left hand side. Bit of a one for the cameras in the end from right, but corner kick to Ipswich. In the first five and a half minutes into the added on eight, in comes the corner headed away by Burns on the near post. Controlled far side to the edge of the Ipswich area, McGrandles then gives it to Sorensen on the stretch, he keeps it in play. Pull, dinking a ball into the Ipswich area, might be a chance for Scully, and he plays it in, good save from Walton on the near post, brought away by Thompson, 